Okay, so where we last left off, we had just gotten the portfolio working, um, populating the images from our admin area. Um, so now what we're going to do is handle this about area. Now, what we would really like to have happen here is to be able to kind of edit these. And if you look at the admin section, WordPress wasn't really built for single page sites in this way. Um, at least not by default. So how are we going to do this? And that's a, a good question. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a new page. So here we have this sample page. Just trash that again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create a new page. And we're going to call it about. And in here, We'll go ahead and go to this and just copy and paste all of this. And go ahead and add that right here in our code, our content area. Um, we're going to go to text just for a second now. I, I just wanted to you know show you this. Um, so basically, you can see um, that you can see the tags, basically. Um, when you go from visual to text and kind of how all that works and what we're going to do now actually is go back to our index here and okay so you can see that we also have those tags there so it's basically pulling off all of that code and kind of copying and pasting it into here but we're also going to need this little download button here so we're going to go ahead and add that as well. And it doesn't always look pretty. Um, unfortunately, there's no default um, syntax highlighting or tab creation and all that stuff. So sometimes it's just going to look a little unappealing. Uh, but ultimately, it'll be fine. You might notice that these are not uh, showing up as paragraphs, well that's because right here um, you can select kind of what you want it to be. So it's by default selects it as a paragraph, which is fine. Um, so this is our link and it's it's basically a download button and right now it's linking nowhere as you can see. But here you could add basically a URL to this area, make it link wherever you want from the admin area so you can kind of control that. Um, possibly not the best way to go about this, but just for this very simple basic version, this will work. Um, and if you're doing this for somebody that has no coding experience, to change the link, they would just go to here, and you can see that's you know that's what was in that href, and so that's what you'll put um, right there, and it'll change in the text version too. But I just wanted to show you how that's going to go about. And you don't really want to switch back and forth too much. Um, we'll go ahead and just hit publish now. Looking back at our code, you're going to see here that we're going to need to go ahead and start another PHP tag loop. And in this one, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did for the portfolio section. But we're going to need to make a little change to kind of make it work for our purposes. And we're going to get into that now. But so you kind of already know how all that works. Um, and I'll just go ahead and make that here. Now, we're going to use the WP query um, function. Uh, so how does that work? Well, basically, what we need to do is set up a an array of arguments um, that we're going to pass into that query and then we're going to call the query on have post so let's go ahead and start that and so we'll just call it args and it's going to equal an array and we're not going to do it like that there we go um, and just go ahead and put our semicolon here uh, go ahead and space out some more space here I'm just going to go ahead and build it out, and then we're going to look at the arguments that the WP query can take. So here we'll just, uh, you can make this as just a variable. 
um, I generally just call it WP query. So you can really quickly tell what's being called on. And then we're just going to call a new WP query. All right, so there you go. And then we're going to pass in the arguments variable and then put the semicolon. So right now we're passing in an array, a blank, you know, empty array. Um, okay, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what WP query can offer us in the form of, you know, some of the arguments that we can pass in there to make this do what we need it to do. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to go ahead and see First off, let's go to our page. Um, let's go to appearance. It's probably a better way to do this, but this is kind of just the way I'm going to do it really fast. Um, we're going to just use the default uh, just for a second. And typically, I just change mine to post name when I'm finally done. This site, like I said, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a single page. Uh, we'll get into more of that and more advanced stuff. Um, now we'll go back to our pages. Uh, take a look at our about page and say edit. So this is page ID 26. So what we want to pass in here in the arguments is the page ID. So this tells us that we are going to only want content and titles and stuff like that from page ID of 26. All right, so I don't think we're gonna need to pass in any other arguments, but so this is all set up, but we need to go ahead and pass the have posts. Um, so the way that we do that is just we say WP query first so only have posts in page ID 26. So if it doesn't, we'll get nothing. But if it does, which we know we do because we just created it, it's going to give us what we want. Um, and then we'll get into kind of that. So up here, we're going to create a PHP tag. Um, so we're replacing that about text. And we want this about text to pop up. So how do we do that? We say the title and that's all we need so this is going to say for page 26 page ID 26 pass the title of that page and then down here we're going to go ahead and comment all this out um, if you are new to sublime that's just command or control and then forward slash is how you comment things out really quickly um, and here we're going to call another PHP tag and say the content. All right. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and save out the page. And let's see what we get. We get a white page. Now, so why do you get a white page? That's because we didn't close our if statement down here. So that's, you know, that's normal. That's nothing to worry about. But uh, a good rule of thumb is that anytime you get a white page, it means that you did not get, uh, or you had a PHP error. And the error that we had is that we have an a while statement and an if statement that haven't been closed. So go ahead and close those. And then we'll go back to our page and hit refresh. All right, so there we go. So now you're seeing things. Now they're popping up a little bit weird. So um, the about though looks good. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at their version. I'll just scroll down here. Okay, so you know the button, it's not really, doesn't really look right. Uh, but everything else looks pretty good. So let's take a look and inspect this element and try to figure out what's going on. Um, okay. So 
right here is our button and what I believe is going on is we have this break tag so I want to go ahead and bring this up because this is a good thing to kind of understand and know about is that unfortunately uh, sometimes this area will add tags that are not there um, so as you can see this is you know the exact code for a button there's no break tag uh, but for some reason it's adding one so we're gonna go ahead and update that's why I said don't switch between text and visual much because what's gonna basically happen is it's gonna you know constantly be adding tags every time you switch from one to the other in fact there is a plugin that can completely remove the visual aspect um, that would eliminate that problem from ever happening or the text aspect so you can you know kind of not allow people to switch back and forth and create that issue. Um, so let's go back now and take a look. All right, there we go. So now everything is loading and looking right. And that's how you get that about page. So this video took a lot longer than I thought it would to kind of cover this. So from here, we're going to do the next video is building out a contact form. Uh, we're going to use a plugin for that. And so look forward to that very soon. All right. Thank you. Bye.